Hey everyone, it's Eva and as you know, I've been in Texas for quite some time but now I'm finally back in Toronto. I'm gonna be here for a few months so you guys are gonna have to get used to this and if you guys are wondering why the camera looks weird and why I'm in a different spot than usual when I'm in Toronto is because I came back to a tripod with the missing squiggly thing. I don't know what it's called but the squiggly thing, I can't find it so I've dangerously stacked up quite a few boxes and hopefully my camera doesn't fall off. And as usual, make it quick. If you guys aren't subscribed, do it please. And click on the bell if you wanna see all my videos and notifications for them. However, this time I will probably be in Mexico for my sister's wedding. So when you guys see this video, I probably won't be replying instantly at all. So I'm sorry for that. Okay, so since I've been gone for quite a bit, I have quite a few packages and I've pre-opened them, but I haven't actually looked into them. I just didn't wanna struggle on camera and spend like half an hour cutting out like two hours of me trying to open these boxes. So let's just get right into this and see what there is. Okay, so let's start off with the smallest thing, which is the acid truth. So what is this? Oh, it looks like it's toothpaste. It's Sensodyne toothpaste. I'm not even sure who sent this, actually. I don't know if this is like a sample size that they just sent to every house. I don't know, but it just looks like daily anti-cavity toothpaste. It helps protect teeth from the effects of acid water. I mean, I guess it's nice. I'll probably just bring it with me to Mexico so I can brush my teeth because it's a nice tiny travel size. Okay, so next up is this box from NYX and I believe it's a blush thing from... Ooh, I hate the sound of cardboard and the feeling of cardboard. Does anybody feel like that? It's equivalent to someone scratching their nails on chalkboard. Ugh, it's so gross. I don't, ee, okay, whatever. Quick look. Alright, so I really I love NYX packaging. It's so nice. It's simple, but at the same time, it's very unique. And they come with this, you know, hashtag NYX Cosmetics Canada, had a sweet cheeks, and Lolo liner. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so it's basically like a little USB thing that you just flip over and you can just open it and see what's inside. <laughs> this is so hard to pull. Okay, let me take out the brushes first. That might actually be a smarter. You know what? Yeah. That's how you're supposed to do it. It also comes with two brushes. I've actually never used NYX brushes, I don't think. So this will probably be my first time. These ones feel very nice. I actually think this is really nice for contouring and blush just because it's like slim, but at the same time it's pretty dense and soft. I think I might actually use this for contouring. And this one just seems to be like an eyeshadow one. And this is what I want to clean. <laughs> the NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I don't have a lot of blushes, so I think this might be nice to like play around with and try different tones to have different makeup looks. Okay, so next up is this box. This is from Zach Communications, and they've sent me a few things before, which is really nice. I like the people, they're, they're very nice people. Oh, you guys can see that this is a fake off shoulder top. Oops, well, let's just fix that. Ooh, this is um, a lot of product. This seems to look like a lot of skincare products I can see and a lipstick here and there. So let's just go through this. Okay, so clear days ahead philosophy. Uh, Oil-free salicylic acid acne treatment cleanser. Actually, I really like that um, quote or whatever blurb that they put there. It's very true. Blemishes can really take a big toll on how you see yourself and I know that for sure because I had tons and tons of acne before, like cystic ones. So this is a really nice pick-me-up type of quote and I do appreciate that they put this on everything. Okay, so this is from Sephora. This is super tiny. Like, this is supposed to be an algae sleeping mask and is it really this tiny? Like, is it like a container under? Because I don't think anyone's face is this small. Okay, okay, yeah, it's a, container. it's a container under. I was gonna say, if it's just like a little foil packet, I don't see how this is gonna cover anybody's face, for example. This is supposed to cleanse and detoxify the skin and helps eliminate impurities that make skin look dull. So this is also from Clear, and I believe it's the Sephora brand. I think, I think I've seen it there. It's the oil-free salicylic acid acne treatment and moisturizer. Delivers breathable oil-free hydration without clogging the pores. This one is also from Clear, and it is overnight repair salicylic acid acne treatment pads and Oh, okay, that's French. <laughs> okay, so I believe that there are pads that you just put on as spot treatment almost. One or two, three times daily. So this is interesting. It kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't know if you guys remember it, that Oxy brand, I think, the one that was on TV where it's like, well, just take this pad and put in your pimple and it'll go away. And it doesn't really actually, it just dries the hell out of your skin. All right, and I believe this is the last clear thing and it's fast acting salicylic acid acne spot treatment. I'm guessing you're supposed to use this before this. 
and this is more spot treatment this is more like area treatment all right and this is different same same brand i think but different anyways it's the tubo booster c powder i think this is supposed to just boost your skin it says to mix one and a half to one scoop in the palm of your hand with your water-based moisturizer or serum in the am store in a cool dry place actually this seems really easy to work in some routines so i'll probably try this on today after i take off this makeup that you know i put on just to film with so you know like one to two hour faces this is the sad YouTube life, putting on makeup for a camera and then taking it off right after not going out. Okay, so this is Bites Beauty, and I've heard a bit about Bites, and this seems to be an agave lip mask. Oh, I've actually never tried a lip mask before, so this is interesting. I'm guessing you just put it on and take it off after a few minutes. Here is some lipstick, which I've been really liking lipstick. I just suck at putting it on. I think it's lipstick anyways. The multi-stick. Oh, I've never actually owned a multi-stick before either. This is cool. So I'm guessing you can use this for blush and lips and whatever else you want to use it for, which is why it's called a multi-stick. This is actually a really nice color too. This packaging though, it just kind of like falls off. I probably won't ever take this to travel because I have a feeling it's just going to come off and get everywhere. All right. And this is the coolest looking package that I got. This has a rooster on it for Chinese New Year, so you kind of have an idea of how long it's been since I've been back. And I'm kind of excited to go through it. It's from Biotherm, and I love all of Biotherm's products. I'm actually using their toner right now, and I feel like after I use it, it actually moisturizes my face. I still use the moisturizer after, but I, I really do love their products. This is from Biotherm and Clarisonic. Yes! Ah. Open, come out, please. I'm so excited. It's the Clarisonic Mia Fits Compact Lightweight Daily Sonic Cleansing. I actually have a Clarisonic. I just didn't want to bring it with me because it was so big and I brought over a lot of things to Texas. I'm actually so excited for this. I can't wait to try it. Okay, so as an extra special sheet for your followers, share the promo code EVA20 for 20% off their purchase of $50 plus on biotherm.ca and clarisonic.ca. I'm so excited for this, like, that's all I have to say. What else is there? Oh, they also give me an extra head. Biotherm Aqua Source Gel. Hydration and diffusion continue for... I believe this is just like a moisturizer gel. But I know for a lot of biotherm products, they smell really fresh and nice, so this is nice. Alright, so what is this big thing? A Life Plankton Essence. I feel like I probably have this. This looks very similar to the toner that I use. Maybe it is it. Yeah, I think I actually am using this, so this is nice. I have an extra uh, light plankton essence. If you guys are looking for products that are light on your skin and smell nice, I really recommend Biotherm's products. Oh my gosh, there are sparkles everywhere. I didn't realize there were sparkles in this box. Okay, and finally, the last thing I have, my sister actually showed me some of the stuff, but like, it was through pictures, so I couldn't really see what anything was, and I also got a Comedica kit, which I was super excited about. And it's stuff from Shugumer, which I probably butchered just now, so don't judge me. The one thing that I was really excited about was the eyelash curler, because I've heard so much about it, which is somewhere in here. All right, let's just go through this slowly, because I'm not about digging through that just to find an eyelash curler. Okay, so this is the Shugumer and Murakami 2016 holiday collection. Ooh, this is from a long time ago. And this is from the McIntyre, McIntyre? McIntyre Communications. What is this? Oh, this is cleansing oil shampoo. That's an interesting thing. I don't think I've ever tried cleansing oil shampoo before. Gently cleanses all hair types with respecting the balance of the scalp. Well, if this is good for the scalp and it has oil in it, but it's not gonna be super oily, then this might be nice because I think it's hereditary, but I have quite the flaky scalp, especially down here. I know my sister has it too, so it's, I'm pretty sure it's hereditary. <laughs> and it's really inconveniencing because I have to be so picky with the shampoos because if not, it's gonna be like dandruff falling everywhere and it's disgusting. Even sometimes when I wear hoodies and like it's like second, third day hair, you can kind of see the little speckles of dandruff. It's gross TMI, sorry. So I think next time I wash my hair and like, two days. I'm gonna try this out. If it's really good, I will update you guys on my Facebook page. Okay, so what is this? This looks like some type of lotion thing. Air dry, blow dry perfecter. The tangles, condition, smooths, and tames frizz for silky, outstanding shine. I'm guessing this is almost like a deep frizzer and make something to make your hair silkier. I feel like this might be nice spring to Mexico because I feel like the salt water and the chlorine and all the showering I'm gonna have to do between each day is gonna kill my hair. Not to mention, after I wash my hair, my hair gets real frizzy for a while, so that might be able to tame it. I think these are all lipsticks. So these are Rouge Unlimited Sheer Shine. 
Okay, so some of these are shiny, some of these are not. Oh my god, this packaging is so cool. I actually really like lipsticks even though I stuck at putting them on. And so they're mainly like the first things that I've been experimenting with. Do we even have any lipstick on left? Ooh. Okay, one thing that I've really been liking is dark lipsticks, especially mauve colors. So this is really nice. It looks like there's like a bit of uh, shine, or not shine, um, glitter, glisten. I can't think of the word right now. <laughs> Whoa. This is like... Barbie pink. I don't know if I can ever pull this color off though I really do like the way that it looks. I just, I don't know, I'm scared to try on really bright colors like this. Like I'm okay with bright red, but it's just bright pink. Mm. I don't know if I can pull it off. What do you guys think matches with this? I do really want to try wearing it one day, but I just, I, did, I don't know what matches. This is a drawing pencil, pencil eyeliner. Oh no, I think the end broke off. I don't think it's a big deal though, though, cause that's just like showing what color it is. Oh, it's a navy, so it's not black. That's interesting. Okay, so these are two different palettes. This is the Cosmic Bloom Eye and Cheek Palette in Cosmico Eye, and Cosmic Blossom Eye and Cheek Palette in Cosmico. Oh, Cosmico, I can't read, sorry. Ooh, I like this packaging. It feels very sturdy. Ooh, let me just not drop everything out. That pink is so good. I suck at this. This stuff is coming off. Okay, that pink is so bright. Ooh, and this gold is very glittery. I actually use a lot of gold in my makeup just because it's shiny and it is a neutral color. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in this box. Okay, so this is a Bloom Your Way custom case, custom case duo. What does that mean? Does that mean I can just like pop out the eyeshadows from the other two things? I think that's what it is. I think I can just, whoa, what is this thing that just came off? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, yeah, you slide it in because it's not magnetic and then you put this to like lock it in place. And then there you go, two colors. This is the Blossom Nova Eye Trio. Ooh, Ooh. these all match very nice. Well, I mean, I guess they could, could they should because it's a palette, but this is an example of how it works. I guess this is also something they can pull out and replace with different colors. Okay, what is this giant? It's an eyelash curler. Okay, I'm gonna open this. I have to use this like. I'm replacing my, ooh, it comes with a keychain. Okay, I'm definitely replacing the eyelash color that I have because I've been using it for years and it kind of sucks from the beginning. I just got it because it was cheap and I haven't really heard anything good about any other eyelash colors except for Shoei Mara's. I, I'm, I'm just gonna avoid saying the name because I feel like I keep butchering it. Ooh, it's black. Black is really nice. I think black is nice because you won't really see like the little stains from like excess mascara and stuff. Cause I have a silver one and that's all you see and it's disgusting if you don't clean it off. It looks very unkept. Okay, so there's not too much left, don't worry. Okay, so this is Chu Uemura Block Booster Protective Moisture Primer. These are actually different colors, that's why. They have SPS, SPS, SPF 50. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like a primer that you put on after, I suppose. This is very convenient though. This little like, I don't know what you call it, it's like a little slit so you can open these up easier. Yeah, it smells like um, a primer, <laughs> I guess. So this is also an essence, just like the Biotherm one, and it is Nourishing Protective Oil and Carmelia Oil. Nourishing and Protective Essence infused with Carmelia Oil, Cam Carmelia Oil, helps protect the hair fiber against your, oh, it's for hair. Okay, this is the anti slash oxy Plus Pollutant and Dullness Clarifying Cleansing Oil. So do you cleanse your face with this? Instead of cleanser, like normal cleanser that lathers up like soap, this is like made with an oil base. Okay, so I've tried cleansing my face with oil before and it kind of scares me because back in the acne days, it's like you don't really want to put oil on it unless it's like good oil, I guess. Well, since my face is better after Accutane, I guess it wouldn't be that bad to try this. I am kind of iffy just because I am scarred from all the products that I've tried that ruined my face. But I guess this is worth a try. I'm guessing it's cleansing oil is also good at taking off makeup, but I would assume that it might still be a better idea to take off the makeup before you use this. All right, and I believe that is everything. And I feel like this video might be very long and very tedious to edit. <laughs> But anyways, uh, Danielle's actually coming to Toronto as well and I have to show him around because it's his first time here. So besides all of these products and everything, and I hope, hopefully you guys do like this video, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know where I should bring him in Toronto. It's, it's more so like I've been here for so long that nothing seems super outrageous and cool to me except for like, you know, the obvious scene tower and like Ripley's Aquarium. But I don't know, just let me know down below where I should bring them and if you guys want me to vlog it. Maybe I suck at vlogging. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys very soon. And hopefully I'm not going to be super tanned because I don't want to buy new makeup. Okay, bye.